I'm Jim Scar from Solar Lucia. I'm about to show you a system just installed in a small autonomous kitchen unit. It's, it's a production house that makes that cooks pastries and other stuff. And so we have quite a lot of electrical equipment here that needs to be running. Uh, so apart from the normal household appliances, we also have uh, some fridges and freezers and a few aircons inside. But let's go and have a look at the system itself and see how it looks. Um, the house is also supported by a three-phase uh, generator because there is a big oven for cooking as well. But if you look in here, uh, the setup here is a twin inverter master slave setup. As you can see right now, if you move a little bit closer, you can see we are now having a consumption of four and a half kilowatt in the house and a 5.4 harvest from the array. So right now we're actually winning in spite of quite a big load in the house. Now the way this works, this is all outback gear, is that this is the master and it will run the first 3 kilowatt and if need be it will call up the slave which is another 3 kilowatt, so total 6 kilowatt with up to about 7.5 kilowatt peak, all supported by two lithium batteries, 11.7 kilowatt hours each, uh, 8,000 cycles, that translates about 21 years of service life, and two strings of panels, 12 panels on each. So we have two regulators here, and they're both they're summing up and doing the five and a half kilowatt of uh, charge capacity at the moment. So quite a versatile system. It will actually hold its own on a six kilowatt load uh, at night. Of course, not forever, but it would do it. And uh, as soon as the sun is out and you've got support from the panels, as you can hear, whizzing away, uh, you really get some serious production here, up to eight kilowatts.